Oh, what is up, YouTube? What is going on? And welcome back to Dante's Rant Room, where we talk about controversial topics in anime, manga, and gaming. And I am your host, Dante. And we are back with another video. And as always, I appreciate y'all for tuning in yet again. Why? Because your support keeps me and this channel going. So seriously, thank you for all the support. However, it looks like we have another case of localization issues. Yes, yes, I know, I know, it's never ending. Here we go again. So the article says from Niche Gamer, Blue Archive releases emergency patch to fix translation after fan feedback. Goes on to say mobile game Blue Archive is no stranger to localization issues, bruh. It's just like we can never catch a break from these horrid localizers. Seriously. <sighs> I digress. <laughs> I digress. Anyway, it seems Nexon is learning from past mistakes by promptly responding to language savvy fans who take issues with their work. In a recent patch, the game added a new chapter to its Eden Treaty story during one scene where the player character addresses Mika. From Trinity General School, fans quickly noted that a line where they call her princess was changed. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, may, it really makes me wonder how much money uh, companies spend having to fix non-stop issues and problems because of these localizers. And don't get me wrong, guys. I don't feel bad for these companies. I mean, they hired them, right? And they still keep them around, they still keep them employed. So they need to deal with the consequences, even if that means having to spend more money to fix their problems. However, the people I really feel bad for are the consumers of these products. Either way, before I continue, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We talk a lot about controversial topics and censorship. In anime, manga, and gaming, let's get this channel to 2k subscribers. So make sure you drop a like if you enjoyed this video and a comment to engage in conversation. Share this video if you enjoy it. Follow me on Twitter, link to that will be in the description box down below. And as always guys, let's get into it. So the official Blue Archive Twitter page dropped these tweets yesterday. Let's go back here real quick. It says Blue Archive uh, um, update. We'll be having a quick data patch today at 6 o'clock to address the following issues. First, text, is um, text fixes. Two, certain dialogue from the main story, Eating Treaty, will be fixed. Certain text from Sori's relationship story and her sub skill will be fixed. You can still play the game during the patch, but disconnection may occur. Um, newly updated resources will be downloaded once you reconnect to the game after the patch. We are sorry for the inconvenience caused. We will update you via this notice if uh, any changes occur. Yeah, you know, <laughs> um, I bet companies could have saved a lot of time um, and effort and whatnot if they got rid of these problem localizers. I mean, getting them fired would be the smart thing to do but they still keep them around Ugh. i just don't get it <laughs> i just don't get it so anyway let's see some of the examples of what was changed by localizers that needed to be fixed let's go back here to niche gamer all right it says um there's right here japanese version wait it says keeps the princess and Korean version keeps princess English version says keeps princess is a fan translation but uh, it says the original English translation says how dare you treat my precious student like that but I guess it's supposed to say leave my beloved princess alone that's nothing <laughs> so why change princess to students, among other things. I mean, I haven't played the game, but um, if you play the game, maybe you guys have some context, but if there is no context as to why to change student to princess, why feel the need to change it? 
It literally makes no sense. But like I said, um, this will never stop. And it'll only stop in, um, when these companies start firing these horrid localizers. But what do you guys thought about this? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. The article goes on to say, though, because in less than 48 hours, Blue Archive pushed out a patch that fixed the translation in the scene, as well as some other small changes to the new character Sari's uh, lines. The line now reads, How dare you treat my princess like that? Shortly after the game launched globally, Nexon receives some heavy criticism for censoring CGs and dialogue. However, the company has made tangible progress in earning back the goodwill of its English-speaking players, which we did talk about briefly a few months ago about the Blue Archive censorship in which they ended up having two different um, games, I believe. One was censored and one was uncensored, so I believe they kind of fixed that problem. But, um... In order to provide original game as faithfully as possible, Nexon split the game, like I just said, actually, <laughs> into all ages version that censored and the mature rated one that allows them to release the content uncensored. So, yeah, by the way, that's not all. Let's go to Senkaku Complex real quick uh, to see some responses. It says, um, people are like saying thanks. And it says, you, one user also claimed the developer gifted players 600 gems as an apology. This guy says, wait, did they fix the dialogue? And says, yes, and handed over 600 gems as an apology on top of that. I don't know how true it is, but if you're a Blue Archive player, let me know in the comments. Is it true or not? Please let me know. And of course, anyone else who may be looking in the comments section as well. It says Blue Archive developer was previously demanded to censor the game. Oh, we covered this part already, so it is what it is. So yeah, another case of horrid localizers doing what they do best, just ruining anything they freaking touch. <laughs> Literally ruining everything they touch. Now, as I said before, and I will continue to say it, yes, there are good people who in the industry who do their job and want to do it accordingly and as accurately as possible. However, the bad ones just keep on rising and they're on the forefront, literally front and center. And this won't stop until companies start reprimanding them, firing them, blacklisting them, maybe even keeping them around, but keeping them far away from any kind of contact with game development, anime development and translation and localization, manga and so on and so forth. This won't stop. Now, I'm not saying you guys should go on their Twitter page and harass people. Please don't do that. But something needs to happen and something needs to be done about this. And what's best to do, in my honest opinion? Start going after these companies, not going after them like physically. Letting them know like, bruh, we need you guys to start taking action because you guys are the consumers. It's your hard earned money. I'm just saying. Anywho, what are you guys' thoughts about this? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And to be fair, I'm sure there were other translation issues within the game, but they just used this as an example. All right? <laughs> so anyway, what are you guys' thoughts? Drop them down below in the comment section. If you are not subscribed, by the way, please make sure you do consider hitting that red button to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more content. Follow me on Twitter. Link in the description box down below. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.